travels and having this community that shows up. So thank you. Um, let's see, as far as special announcements go, only thing I can think of is um, I have the first Saturday of February, so not this weekend. I think it's next weekend, right? It's already February, something like that. Um, first Saturday of February, I'm teaching my frequency class, which is a two hour offering in this space, seven to 9 p.m. Um, it is breath work and sound. So there's not movement, not yoga, just laying down on the ground and doing one type of breath the entire time, which is intended to, in the beginning, it's really difficult and your mind wants to stay in control. But after usually about like, honestly, five to 10 minutes, if you can be with it, you get over a hump and your body just kind of starts to breathe you. You start to feel like it's just your breath is flowing through you and it's intended to take you out of your head, out of your ego, out of your thinking, talking, judging mind, and just let you drop into your felt senses. And the breath is intended to bring up emotions to take you into a similar state. So it's putting you in your sympathetic nervous system, not parasympathetic, not relaxed. So it's allowing past stuff that's inside of you that hasn't had time to process. It's allowing it to come up, be felt be worked with. So there is movement as far as like, I'll encourage you to shake, we'll yell, we'll howl. We do all sorts of weird things, but it's really, I like to think of these weird things as going back to our most primal ways of being and our most primal ways of processing energy and emotion. So we do all this breath work. And then the last like 30 minutes, I have my musician, my sound guy, who's amazing. He plays like a million instruments. Um, and he just, is doing all his things and you're just laying there taking big deep breaths your body feels like it's vibrating and it's just like it's an experience so if you're around the first weekend of february i would love to have you it's 30 dollars, and you sign up through the local co-op so let me know if you have any questions anything else that anybody wants to announce of your own questions comments concerns don't be shy okay <laughs> okay let's just do it then so find your comfortable seat if you're not already there. And if you want to take a moment, I personally usually like to move a little bit before I just settle into stillness. So maybe you stretch a bit. Maybe you even just roll your head or your shoulders around a little bit. Let's see if you can kind of just feel into your physicality a little more. Notice what you brought with you, how you woke up this morning. And then eventually settle into seated meditation. So place your hand somewhere, some way, intentionally. And either close your eyes, or if you prefer to keep them open, soften and lower your gaze. And just take these first couple of moments to really fully arrive in this space. So obviously you're all here physically. And bring yourself here mentally, emotionally, energetically. So that means whatever you've got going on in your life, outside of these walls. So if you can kind of just let it go for now, let it fade away. <clears throat> and as you notice the sounds, the sounds around you, the sounds from the street, see if you can notice the furthest sound, as far as you can hear. And then see if you can notice the closest sound. So maybe just noticing sounds inside of you or the sound of your own breath. And then start to bring your awareness to sensation, feeling into your physical body. First, feeling into sit bones on the ground, maybe the air on your skin or your clothes against your skin. And then see if you can start to feel into physical sensations inside. So for instance, how do your hips feel as you sit? How does your spine feel? Is there anywhere you're tensing up that you don't need to be maybe through your face or through your shoulders or even through your hands? Start to visualize your breath, any color that comes to mind. Don't think too hard about it. Visualize your breath flowing up and down the length of your spine. 
And as you visualize this long line of energy inside of you, your breath flowing up and down, just start to make little tiny baby circles around that line with your upper body. So just rotating little tiny baby circles around your spine. Stay nice and tall, and it's not a big movement. And then start to circle the other direction. So we're just bringing in more body awareness, more somatic awareness. And if you've ever done kundalini yoga and you know what Sufi grinds are, that's what we're going to start to do. So as we inhale, we're going to make these circles really big. We'll come forward. Exhale, pull back. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. So in Kundalini, sometimes they get going really fast. If you want to go with that, you can speed it up. If you want to stay slow, mindful, feel free. Just in and out through your nose. It can be slightly forceful through your nose, powerful through your nose. And then start to reverse your circles. Take them the opposite direction. Same thing. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Feel into the mobility of your spine. Use your breath. You might notice your pelvis. You might notice places that feel a little stuck or a little tight. Keep grinding for three, two, one. Come back to stillness. Sit up tall. And just notice whatever you feel. See if you can feel more energy inside of you now. Notice your breath, visualize it. Let's take a great big inhale and hold at the top. When you think you're full, see if you can sip in a little bit more. And then big sigh out your mouth, release. Ah. Two more like that. Inhale, fill up. Take up more space. Extra sip if you want it. And then side out, let it go. Ah. Last time, biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Any tension, any heaviness, any stress you're holding when you're ready, imagine you can just let it go out your mouth, side out. Ah. Seal your lips now and start to drop into ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. Constrict the muscles in the back of your throat and use them to regulate your breath. It's a deep diaphragmatic breath comes all the way down, moves all the way down into your belly. You can stay right here as long as you want. If you're ready to start moving, come forward to hands and knees. And anything goes, intuitive movement. So you might circle your hips around. You might start with some cat cows. Maybe you just want to sit back and rest in child's pose for a few breaths. Find a sense of grounding there. Maybe you want to crawl forward like you're a cat and crawl back. You could spin your fingers out to the sides or spin your fingers back towards your knees. And just kind of rock gently side to side or around in little circles. Yeah, so use this time not to get into your head and be like, am I doing this right? Do I look weird? What is everybody else doing? Use this time to drop into your body, to drop into your felt senses, to notice how does my spine feel this morning? How is it moving? How do my shoulders, my hips feel, even my neck, my fingers, my hands? If you can be here for about five more breaths, and if you're bored, notice that you're bored. Be with that. Breathe into that. If you feel self-conscious, notice that. Get curious about that. And then eventually, friends, downward facing dog is our destination. So you can start your transition back to down dog whenever you would like.
All right. Once you're back in your dog pose, same thing. Feel into it. So it might feel really nice to bend your knees a lot and just work that length from your fingertips all the way up to your butt, all the way up to your sit bones. Maybe you want to pedal out your heels, walk out your dog. Maybe you want a windshield wiper your heels from side to side a little bit. Give your head a little shake or a little nod. So feeling into your down dog, almost like it's the first time you've been in this pose. What is there to notice? How can you adjust to make it work for your body better in this moment? To be more efficient in your body in this moment. Can you still feel your big, spacious, powerful breath? Take one more inhale, everybody, into your down dog. And then as you exhale, look to the top of your space and however you want to get there, forward fold. Once you've arrived, hang out in your fold for a few rounds. I personally like my feet hips width distance apart or even a little bit wider for this first one. It just gives your hips and your pelvis a little more space. If you like having your big toes touching, that's totally fine. You can bend your knees a little. You can even bend your knees a lot. Notice where you're holding the weight in your feet. And if you happen to be rocking back into your heels and locking out your knees, see if you can do the opposite. Bend your knees, bring your weight more forward, and then focus on lifting your butt, lifting your sit bones as high as you can. Once you are working your sit bones as high as you can, if you want to press more into your heels, go for it. Everybody, one more great big breath. Relax your neck, soften your face. Halfway lift with your next inhalation. So get all the rounding out of your back. Yes. Exhale, bow and fold. Do that again. Lift halfway. So your butt sticks out. Top of your head reaches forward. Exhale, release. From the press of your feet, this time all the way up. So come through your halfway lift. Keep rising. Reach up, stretch. Hands to heart as you exhale. Let's flow for a moment, just through some half suns. Inhale, high mountain. Hinge at your hips and take your slow dive down. Exhale. Beautiful. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Press back through the very tops of your thighs and broaden your sit bones. Exhale, fold all the way to emptiness. And from that place, rise up. Arms to the sky. Inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. One more time like that, big spacious breaths. Inhale, high mountain. Take the entire length of your exhale to dive. So feel your body move through space, traction out your spine, then release. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. So all that length and even strength in your back body. Nice, Kali. Exhale, fold, bow. Beautiful breath. Press into your feet, rise up. Big full body stretch. Hands to heart center, exhale. All right, inhale, arms reach up. And this time, side body stretch to your right. You can make it your own, or if you want, grab your left wrist and then gently tug on your left arm. Move your hips, whatever variation you are in. See if you can move your hips over to the left. So more weight in your left foot. Hips reach left as your upper body goes right. It's like you're trying to create a crescent moon with your body. Sometimes I even like to reach my right tiptoes out. Or if you're really feeling it, maybe you even try balancing, lifting your right tiptoes away from the ground. Yes, nice. Beautiful, Chris. Take one more round. Inhale back through center, so realign. Then same thing, other side. You can grab your right wrist or you can make it your own, up and over. So more weight in your left foot now. If you try to create this pose just from your upper body, that's fine, but you're super limited in your range of motion. So see if you can start in your lower body and then work up into your upper body. Nice, Lara. Take one more full round. Huge breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers here. And then roll your shoulders back and down. Shoulder blades, squeeze your spine. Bend your elbows and suction cup your palms together. Now imagine your elbows are magnetized. See if you can squeeze them closer to each other. 
Now imagine your fingers, just your fingers are super glued together and you're trying to pull them apart. See if you can keep all of that and reach your hands back away from your body. Only if you want, add a little baby back bend. Press your hips forward. Hug in with your inner thighs. Pop up through your chest. Take one more big, huge inhale. Keep your clasp. Hinge at your hips. Exhale all the way down into your full. If you're still pressing your palms and that becomes too much, you can let that part go. Relax your neck. So if you need to bend your knees a lot, let your head be heavy. You might give it a little shake. See if you can lift your sit bones up. See if you can lift your knuckles up. Feel that mobility in the front of your shoulders. Very nice, you guys. Take one more big inhale. Awesome, Amber. Exhale, hands to low back. Release your clasp. Let your arms dangle. You might give them a little shake out. Ujjayi. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank pose. So top of a push-up. Pause for a moment. Spread your fingers really, really wide. Push into the ground actively. Start to take little baby rocks forward and back. So your belly's strong, navel to spine. Nice. See, see, see if you can even feel the front of your thighs, your quads, squeeze. Keep pushing the ground away. Keep breathing. Next time you inhale, rock forward to your tippy tippy toes. Our knees can come down to modify. Exhale, lower just halfway. Try not to let your belly drop or your shoulders roll forward. Inhale, push back up. High plank. Yes, one more like that. Exhale, halfway down. Chaturanga hold. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, push up. So nice. Awesome, Aaron. Exhale, slowly all the way to your belly. Spider-Man Cobra. So bring your hands out wide to frame your yoga mat. Up on your fingertips, elbows face the sky. Lift your heart, breathe in. Exhale, take a little twist to your right. Dip your left shoulder down. It's like a micro shoulder pigeon. Inhale, back through center. Wider the better with your hands. Exhale, other side. Little twist, right shoulder dips. Inhale, come back to center. Lift your heart. You can go one more time each way on your own, or if there's a different heart opener you'd rather take, feel free. See you back in down dog in your next few breaths. No rush. Good job, friends. Back in your down dog, you've got about five breaths. So if you want to explore, play in any way, go for it. If you want to turn it into a turbo dog for a little more strength work, all you would do, bend your elbows a lot and then squeeze them in towards each other. So it's almost like you're in a dolphin pose, but your forearms are hovering just above the ground. Otherwise, stay where you're at. Big, deep breaths. Feel your down dog. Feel your body. Whatever there is to feel. One more big inhale. Exhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Step or float, forward fold. Halfway lift once you've arrived. Lengthen, breathe in. Nice trace. Exhale, fold and bow. Press into your feet. Rise all the way to stand. Arms reach up high, mountain stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, let's start building our flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit low, chair pose. So start with your weight in your heels. Reach your butt way back like there's a chair too far behind you. You're trying to sit back towards it. So see if right now you can pick up your toes and spread them. Make your feet feel really alive and active. Yeah. So feel the strength in your legs and feel a connection to your center. Draw your belly button back towards your spine and feel the support that offers your low back. See if you can keep your heart lifted by squeezing the bottom tips of your shoulder blades towards one another. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, only thing that changes is your arms. Swing your arms back. Keep your heart lifted. Bend your elbows. And again, imagine your elbows are magnetized. Squeeze them towards one another. 
back muscles should be really strong. Make sure your shoulders aren't rolling forward, but they're rolling back and down. Stay right here or balance challenge. Float up onto your tiptoes now. So lift your heels as high as you can. You have more range of motion in your legs. See if you can bend your knees more, get lower. Take one more deep breath. So nice. Inhale, arcing Tadasana. Set your heels down. Open your heart, cactus your arms. As you exhale, we'll take our swan dive down. Sometimes I like to bring my hands together at my third eye as I dive. As you inhale, halfway lift position, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Move through your vinyasa however you want to. So you can add push-ups, you can skip it completely, you can take it on your knees, you do you. All right, down dog, ujjayi breath. Beautiful, you guys. Next inhale, take your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And take a moment if you want to. You can open your hip or explore, roll out your ankle. Maybe you even circle your right leg a few times. Nice, Anya. Eventually, square off your hips. So feel your inner thighs facing one another. Maybe you bend your left knee a lot and come up to your left toes. Make your right leg long, strong, and powerful. Press into the ground with your fingertips. One more inhale. Keep pressing into the ground. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly, round your spine. Stay here as you breathe in. See if you can lift higher through your waistline. Awesome, Cam. And then step forward so softly, low lunge. Take your time to rise up into crescent lunge. So eventually, settle in and breathe into your crescent lunge. Front knee over front ankle, high on the ball of your back foot. Nice, Lily. And find stability through your legs by hugging towards midline. So rather than feeling like you're just sitting into it, stabilize. Front hip pulls back. Back hip pulls forward. Strong foundation through your legs. And then grow into your own unique expression through your upper body. It doesn't mean you have to do anything different physically, but feel into it. What do you want to invite in? What do you want to embody here? Take one more big inhale. Maybe you gaze up. Beautiful friends, as you exhale, just bring your hands back to the ground. We're going to take a horizon lunge. So reach your right arm forward, up. Spin all of your toes to face the right side of the room. Reach your right arm back. Your hips can come down. And maybe you even use your right hand to press into your right inner thigh or inner knee, kind of working through your hip. You can be here however you want to. So if you want more strength work, maybe you lift your hips almost like a side plank. If you would like, you can go back and forth, lift and lower. So we're just going to stay for about three to five rounds of breath. Feel into it. All of your toes should be facing the right side of the room. So your front toes have pivoted out. Your back toes have pivoted. You're on the outer edge of your back foot now. Yes, good. What is there to feel? Do you need to adjust? Maybe you get curious about that. Last big deep breath. And then with your next inhale, everybody reach your right arm up, lift your hips. Exhale, just bring your toes to face forward, both hands to the ground. Root into your front foot, standing splits. So left leg lifts high. I don't care if high is an inch above the ground for you. Totally fine. It's just like a one-legged forward fold. So let your neck relax. See if you can find your center. Left leg's powerful. Left foot is active. See if you can spread your toes or point your toes. Do something to make your left toes active. You can feel them. Nice, Alyssa. Take one more big inhale. Maybe lift a little higher. As you exhale, left knee to your nose. So curl into a little ball. Balance on your right foot. Get small and compact. Inhale, re-extend if you want. You can even take a little handstand hop just for fun. And then step your left foot back to the back of your mat again. And this time, warrior two, rise when you are ready. So back heel pivots down. Back foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat. Your right toes face directly forward. 
Just breathe in your warrior two for a moment. Gaze over your right fingertips. Shoulders stack over hips. Beautiful, friends. Slow, steady. Next, inhale, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up, reach up and reach back. If you want to, you might grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Give your right arm a little tug, see if there's more space you can find. If there's any other variation you want to take, go for it. Keep the deep bend in your front knee and keep tracking your front knee towards your pinky toe. Nice quarry. Back leg is strong. Back foot is rooted, especially the outer edge. Take one more big inhale. Nice, you guys. Exhale, side angle. So come through your warrior two. Reach, 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 and then tip it over. Everything stays open. Nice, Sarah. Your heart is open. Your hips are open. Your shoulders are open. Sometimes I like to reach my left arm forward. If the half or full bind is where you want to go, feel free. All variations. Remember, your heart wants to look up. So see if you can let it. Nice, Kathy. Beautiful, friends. Slow, steady breaths. Can you feel into all those little tiny spaces? Breathe into all those little tiny spaces. One last round. From the press of your feet with your next inhale, rise back up. Reach both arms straight up, straighten your front leg and parallel your feet so all of your toes now face the windows. Take one more inhale here, reach a little higher, lengthen through your side bodies. As you exhale, slow dive all the way down into your fold. Hang out for about five breaths anywhere you'd like to go. So maybe you just hang out and breathe. Maybe you use this as a little break to come back to yourself. Or maybe you challenge yourself here. Maybe you want to take a headstand, skandasana, twist, lots of options. You do you, just stay present, stay with your breath. Stay with sensation. Nice job, everybody. Last couple of rounds. So if you're working somewhere, start to wrap it up. Find a halfway lift with your fingertips on the ground. And then slowly crawl your hands to the top of your space as you rotate your toes to face forward. So you're back in a low lunge position. From low lunge, just step your back foot forward. So you're in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, bow, let it go. Uh, root through your feet all the way to stand. Rise up, arms reach up, pause in high mountain. Check in with how you are standing. So for me, I know my ribs tend to go forward. My butt tends to go back. Some people are the opposite. So feel into your own imbalances. See if you can find as close to neutral pelvis and neutral spine as possible. Spin your pinky fingers in towards each other. Let your shoulders kind of drop down away from your ears just a little bit. Root into your right foot. Float your left knee up, standing staff. Yes, very good. So active through your left toes. Flex your left toes back towards your shin. Focus your gaze. Hug in with your inner thighs. Imagine you're zipping a zipper up through your midline. So everything's hugging in, reaching up, lifting up. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, airplane pose. So start to work your left leg back. Reach your arms back. It's just like we did in our chair earlier. Your heart is lifted. Use the strength in your back body to lift your heart. Use the strength in your inner thighs to lift your back heel level with front shoulders. You're going for a smiley face shape. One more round. Good job. Crescent lunge. See if maybe you can land softly. Inhale. So nice. Exhale. Hands come down. Now listen. Three-legged dog. Right leg to the sky. Breathe in. You can exhale straight to down dog or exhale rock forward. Your variation of plank to chaturanga. Take it as three-legged if you want to. Heart lifts as you breathe in. Nice, K. And hips lift as you breathe out. If you need a moment in a child's pose, go for it. Otherwise, walk out your dog. Find your breath. Reconnect. Ah, maybe a couple open mouth sighs would feel really nice.
All right. From down dog. Next inhalation, take your left leg to the sky. Beautiful. So if you want to, go ahead and explore. Open your hip, roll out your ankle, whatever you would like. And then in your next couple of breaths, square hips. So inner thighs face each other. Notice if your right hip, your leg that's on the ground, notice if it's kind of just shooting out to the right or collapsing out to the right. So hug in with your right inner thigh. Maybe you're on your right tiptoes. Maybe your right knee is really bent. So how can you find more power and strength in this posture? Feel that long line of energy from your fingertips up to your heel or your toes. One more in breath. So good, you guys. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Round your spine. Scoop out your belly. Stay here. Big inhale. You should be on your back. Tippy, tippy toes. And then step forward as soft as possible. Low lunge. Rise in your own time. Crescent lunge. Slow, deep breath. Beautiful. Nice, Leslie. So a little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominals. It doesn't mean you're trying to squeeze your six pack and it doesn't mean you're trying to suck in your belly. It's just a little tone, navel to spine, and you feel supported in your low back. You feel a little more length in your low back. And then lift your heart, maybe lift your gaze. So feel into your own unique expression in your upper body. Just feel into it. Breathe into it. One more inhale. Beautiful. Exhale, hands come down. Rise and lunge. So left arm goes forward, up. Pivot all of your toes to face towards the windows. Left arm reaches back, hips come down. So you might just work here as a stretch. You might work as a side plank variation. So more strength. Maybe you want to lift and lower a few times. Maybe there's some way you want to get curious on your own. Left toes face left. You're on the outer edge of your back foot. Yeah, so nice, you guys. Couple more rounds. Just feeling whatever's there to be felt. Nice, Paul. Maybe you notice this side feels different than the other. Maybe not. Next inhale, everybody. Lift your hips, reach your left arm up. And then as you exhale, low lunge. So pivot your toes to face forward again. Hands frame your front foot into standing splits. Right leg floats high. So standing splits is just like a one-legged forward fold. Don't psych yourself out with the name. Doesn't have to look anything even close to the splits. Right leg lifts, right foot active. Find your center. Hug in with your left inner thigh and use the power of your core to support and hold you. If there's any way you want to play, go for it. Maybe left arm behind left leg. Maybe little hops. Slow, deep breaths. One more inhale. See if you can lift your right foot a teeny tiny bit higher. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So like you're in a little potato bug ball balanced on your left foot. Curl in. Inhale, re-extend. Long, strong, powerful. And then exhale, step back. Set up your warrior two legs now and rise when you're ready. Virabhadrasana two. So back heel pivots down, back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Feel your front knee. Nice, Mikel. Feel your front knee tracking towards your pinky toe. So if your front knee is kind of collapsing in, press into the outer edge of your front foot and wrap your left butt cheek underneath your body. Sometimes when we wrap our left butt cheek underneath our body, our back hip then kind of shoots forward. Draw your right hip back. So feel into your most neutral pelvis while you allow your hips to open. Next time you inhale, reverse warrior. Front palm rotates up. Thanks, Jen. Reach up, reach back. Stay in your front leg. So keep that deep bend in your knee and keep tracking it towards your pinky toe. If there's any variation you want to work here, go for it. So maybe you grab left wrist. Maybe your right arm's reaching forward like a yin-yang variation. Breathe into your left rib cage, the space between your left ribs. Nice, Leslie. Breathe into your left waistline. One more big, huge inhale. Exhale, side angle. So come through warrior two, reach forward, and then left hand towards the ground, right arm towards the sky, or any other variation that will serve you on this side. So your left elbow might rest on your left thigh lightly. Your right arm might reach forward, half or full bind if it's in your practice, if you feel like going there. 
Remember, heart doesn't want to look down at the ground. It wants to look up. See if you can let it. Keep wrapping your front butt cheek. Nice amber. Keep tracking your front knee towards your pinky toe. Keep your back foot rooted, back leg strong. One last deep breath. Nice, Michelle. As you inhale, press into your feet. Rise up. Both arms reach up. Straighten your front leg. Parallel your feet. And just for this one, we're not going to do this in our flow, but bring your hands behind your back, interlace. Shoulders roll back and down. Shoulder blades squeeze your spine. Maybe your palms press, your elbows magnetize. Start to reach your hands back and lift your heart. One more inhale here. Keep your clasp, hinge at your hips. Dive down into your full. So without your hands on the ground to support you, you have to find your center to help you work this pose. So a little more weight in the front of your feet. And then focus on lifting your butt as high as you can. Squeeze through the fronts of your thighs. Crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. At any point, if you want to release your clasp, that's totally fine. You've got about three or four more rounds here. Ah, open mouth size, always welcome. If you're working somewhere, start to wrap up. Next time you inhale, halfway lift position. Spider crawl your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, and just step forward, forward fold, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold and bow. Root through your feet all the way to stand. High mountain, pause in your high mountain. Feel into neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Focus your gaze. And then when you're ready, standing staff, right knee lifts. So left foot roots down, right knee lifts up. Find your balance. Flex your toes. Hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, airplane pose slowly. So right leg reaches back, arms swing back. See if you can keep your heart lifted like you're doing a cobra with your chest. A bend in your standing leg might help a lot. Take one more round, heart is lifted. See if you can land softly, crescent lunge, inhale. You can take a warrior one if you'd rather, that's fine. Exhale, hands come down. Ah, Three-legged down dog. Take your left leg to the sky. And then as you exhale, either straight to down dog or rock forward. Take your vinyasa, plank to chaturanga. Nice, Aaron. Lift your heart. Down dog, or if you want child's pose, hero's pose. Feel free. So give yourself a moment to just come back, to just feel and notice and be in your body. Uh, all right, we're gonna move through that entire flow a couple more times, one breath, one movement. It does not mean we speed through it with momentum as fast as we can. It means we move super slowly and intentionally with our big, huge breaths. So if at any time you're like, she is queuing so slow, see if you can breathe slower, breathe bigger, breathe more spaciously and move with me, with my cues. It's just something to get curious about. There's no right or wrong. If at any time you want to take a break or do your own thing, totally fine with me. If you are coming with me, downward facing dog. Great big inhale into your down dog. Push the ground away, lengthen. Exhale, gaze forward. However you want to get there, top of your space, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift position. Lots of length. 
and exhale, bow, let it go. Beautiful breathing, rise all the way up, arms to the sky, stretch tall. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So bend your knees, swing your arms back, often to float up to tiptoes if you would like. Inhale, arcing to dasana, heels down, cactus your arms, lift your heart, pump up your chest. Exhale, dive down, maybe hands together at your third eye as you take your dive. Forward fold. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Try to keep your exhale going as you lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Nice, you see? Inhale, peel your heart open. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Slowly and softly like you're stepping over something. Exhale, right foot steps through. Inhale, crescent lunge, strong legs. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, reach up, forward and down. Back to your low lunge. Inhale, standing splits, left leg floats high. Exhale, left knee to nose, little ball balance on your right foot. Inhale, re-extend. You can hop if you want, little handstand hop. Exhale, left foot steps back. Set up your warrior two legs. Listen, reverse warrior. So all the way up and back as you inhale. Exhale, side angle. Come through center, reach forward. Tip it over all the way to emptiness. Inhale, rise up, both arms up, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. Exhale, dive down all the way to emptiness, butt towards the sky, crown towards the ground, hold deeply. Halfway lift, inhale, fingertips on the ground. Exhale, mindfully crawl your hands forward, rotate your toes forward and step forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet, rise. Arms reach up, left knee lifts. You can extend left leg if you want. Airplane pose, exhale. Find your balance first, then inhale, crescent lunge, soft landing. Exhale, hands to the earth. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, straight to down dog or rock forward, plank to chaturanga, strong arms. Yes, inhale, peel your heart open. Nice, Tracy. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg high. Strong core as you exhale, step through softly. Let's cam, rise up, crescent lunge. Lift your heart, lift your gaze, feel your pulse. Exhale, hands to the earth, horizon lunge. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Your toes face the windows. And then exhale, come back to low lunge. Lift and lower. Inhale, standing splits, right leg floats high. Exhale, crunch right knee to your nose. Get small and compact. Inhale, get long, strong, powerful. Maybe take a handstand hop. Exhale, step your right foot back, preparing your stance as you inhale, reverse warrior. So all the way up and back, left side body nice and long. Stay in your legs, exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over. Thanks, Michelle. As you breathe in, rise up, reach up, parallel your feet, straighten your front leg. Take your dive with your exhalation all the way to empty, fold as deep as you can. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate toes forward, step forward, forward, fold. Lift halfway, realign your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold. 
Root through your feet, all the way up. Arms up, right knee lifts up, standing staff. You can extend right if you want. Airplane, exhale, right leg back, arms back, heart lifted. See if you can land softly in crescent. Breathe in, lift your heart. Beautiful, exhale, hands to the earth. Three-legged down dog, left leg to the sky. Breathe in. Straight to down dog or come forward. Cling to chaturanga. Nice, Sonia. Inhale, heart peels open, shoulders down and back. Nice, Amber. Exhale, down dog. If you want to grab a child's pose instead, feel free. We've got one more round. This last round, I'm going to add in a few little things. I'm going to add a few little variations. So if... You want to ignore them, totally fine. Otherwise, just like always, stay present, listen to my cues, take what works, leave the rest behind. You're coming with me for the last round, downward feasting dog. Big inhale, fill up. Exhale, gaze forward, step or float, top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale. Bow, exhale. From the press of your feet, rise up. Big full body stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, listen right here. Inhale, reach up. Side body stretch of your choice over to your right, exhale. All the way to emptiness. Inhale through center. Other side, exhale, up and over. <clears throat> Inhale, center. Now, chair plane or drinking bird. Bend your knees, swing your arms back. Option to float to tippy tippy toes. Good. Everyone heels down. Archangel Dasana, cactus your arms, lift your heart. Exhale, dive down. Perhaps hands come together at your third eye as you take your dive. Beautiful. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Try to keep that exhale going or even hold empty as you lower, strong belly. Inhale, heart peels open. Elbow tips should point towards the back wall. Exhale, down dog. Listen here, inhale, right leg high. You can hold or exhale, right knee, left elbow. Push the ground away, get as close as you can. Nice, Alyssa, inhale, three-legged dog, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, right to right. Get as high as you can on your right arm. Yes, inhale, back up. Now everybody, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly and step through softly. Crescent lunge, inhale, rise. Beautiful breathing. Exhale, hands come down. Horizon lunge. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Good, exhale, reach up, forward and down. Inhale, standing splits, left leg floats high. Exhale, tiny little ball balanced on your right foot, curl in. Okay, see, see, inhale, re-extend. Step your left foot back softly. Reverse warriors where you're headed on your inhale, rise, reach up, reach back. Exhale, side angle, and we will pause inside angle. Option to stay inside angle or turn it into a triangle or turn it into a balancing half moon. So only if you want to play, explore, get curious, fall in and out. If your back leg is lifted, make it strong like you're stomping your back foot on an invisible wall. No matter where you're at, everything is still open. Your heart, your hips, your shoulders. Beautiful. Amazing. One more round. Your personal fullest expression. See if you can land in warrior two softly. Yay. Good job. All right. Back into our flow. Next inhale. Reach your arms up. Straighten your front leg. Parallel your feet. Exhale, take your dive down, wide-legged fold all the way to empty in your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate toes forward, pause here, listen, pyramid stance. So step your back foot forward just a little bit, 
just a foot or so, both legs as straight as possible, both feet flat on the ground. Come to a halfway lift. Focus in your halfway lift on pulling your right hip back and squeezing your front thigh. Whenever you're ready, work your fold. Forehead towards chin, nose toward knee, navel towards spine at the bottom of each exhale. Right hip pulls up, 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 and back, back, back. So the very top of your right thigh. See if you can engage right there. Squeeze. Imagine somebody's got their hand in that crease of your hip and they're pulling up, they're tugging back. If you're feeling a tremble, a little shaky shake, that's good. I call it, well, one of my teachers used to call it the sacred tremble. It means you've met an edge. Be with it. Soften around it. About two more deep breaths. Ah, stay rooted through the inner edge of your front foot. If you want, you can pick up your front toes and spread them. Nice job, friends. Very end of your next exhalation. Dive as deep as you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then back foot steps forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and bow. Root through your feet. Rise up. Reach up. Pause here. We're going to lift our right knee. So right knee lift. And then option to stay here, or we're going to add a twist. Twist to your right, left hand to the outside of your right leg, right arm reaches back, or right hand to your low back. Stay here, or revolved hand to big toe pose. Grab hold of your right foot. Start extending your right leg only as far as you can without rounding your spine. You can grab your big toe with peace fingers, or you can grab the outer edge of your foot with your hand. Nice job. Broaden through the front of your shoulders. Feel the twist coming from your center. Wherever you are at, if you're falling in and out, meet yourself right there. Breathe. One last round. You guys are amazing. Ah, all right. Unwind. Arms to the sky. Maybe you extend your right leg if you haven't. Now listen as you exhale. Just set your right foot down. Dive down. We're skipping airplane. Lift halfway. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Feet back. Pause in your plank. Side plank, right hand is your foundation. Roll onto the baby toe edge of right foot or right knee, right forearm can come down if you want to modify. Left arm is reaching up or left arm towards the front wall. Lift your hips so high like you're creating a rainbow shape with your body. Maybe even left leg floats up one last round. Awesome, Kathy. Plank or modified plank. Breathe in at the top of your push-up. Slowly lower, exhale. Ah. Feel your heart open, inhale. Exhale, down dog, you are almost there. One more side, inhale, left leg high. Hold here if you want, or exhale, left knee, right elbow. Push the ground away as you twist. Inhale, back up, three-legged, nice, Mikkel. Left to left, aim as high as you can on your left arm. Awesome, Paul, inhale, three-legged. Knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, step forward softly. Crescent lunge, one more time, rise up and feel yourself in this pose. Exhale, hands down. Horizon, reach forward, reach up, reach back. Yes, and exhale, reach up, forward, down. Standing splits as you inhale, right leg floats high. Little ball bounced on your left foot, curling, get small. Ah, nice, Laura. Inhale, re-extend. Slowly and mindfully, right foot steps back, your warrior two legs, and then reverse as you inhale, all the way up, all the way back. Nice, Lily, exhale, side angle. Come through center, reach forward, tip it over. We'll pause here. You know your options, triangle, bouncing half moon or anywhere else you feel like going. If back leg lifts, keep it strong and powerful. It's like you're karate kicking with your back leg and it just got frozen in space. So nice, heart open, hips open, shoulders open. Big, huge breaths in every direction. One more round. See if you can land in warrior two softly. If it's not soft, no biggie. All right, back to our flow. Next time you inhale, straighten front leg, parallel feet, arms reach up. Exhale, take your dive all the way down. Ah. 
Inhale to your halfway lift position. Exhale, crawl your hands forward, rotate toes forward. Remember, pyramid pose, back foot steps forward a foot or so. You want both feet flat on the ground, so step your back foot forward far enough that you can set your heel down. Halfway lift, pull your left hip back. So left hip pulls back as the crown of your head reaches forward. Try to keep pulling left hip back. And whenever you're ready, fold forehead towards shin, nose toward knee, navel towards spine. working your fold with each exhale. So use your inhales to create space inside, to fill up those spaces that are tight or tense or heavy or dense. And then as you exhale, soften into them, soften around them, couple more rounds. Nice job, friends. Very end of your next exhale. Dive as deep as you can and then step your back foot forward, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow. Ah. Root through your feet all the way up. Arms to the sky. Left knee lifts. Standing stack. Stay here or at a twist this time. Right hand to the outside of left thigh. Left arm back or left hand presses into low back. Option to turn it into full revolved hand to big toe pose if you would like. Yes, yeah, so grab outer edge of foot or piece fingers around big toe. Start to extend. But if you're rounding your spine, come out of it a little bit. Bend your knee. So you want to press through your heel. Shoulders broad, collarbones broad. Breathe down into your belly to work your twist. One more round. Good job. So you can come back to standing stop. Option to extend left if you haven't already. Inhale. Set your left foot down. Dive down. Exhale. Good job. Lift halfway with your inhalation. Plant your hands. Feet back. Plank. Pause in plank. Side plank. This time left hand is your base. Roll on the baby toe edge of left foot. Yes. Your variation on this side. What does it look like? What does it feel like, more importantly? Lift your hips, feel the strength in your left side. Maybe right arm forward, maybe right leg floats up. Soften your face. Take one last round. Huge breath. Beautiful plank or modified. Awesome, Chris. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Exhale slowly lower. Ha. Peel your heart open. You might take an extra breath or two in your heart opener. Take just a moment, everybody, in a child's pose. Breathe into your low back. Then from child's pose, either sit up into hero's pose, kneeling meditation, if that's really uncomfortable for you, sit any other way you need to. We're going to take a quick little breath exercise from Kundalini Yoga. Bring your fingertips to your shoulders and point your elbows straight out to both sides. Sit up nice and tall. And we're just going to breathe in and out through our nose. As we inhale, we'll go left. As we exhale, we'll go right. I'll start. You can join me whenever you're ready. Yeah, if you want to breathe through your mouth, that's totally fine. Inhale left, exhale right. Make it come from your center. Your head can follow or your head can stay looking forward. Little bit of effort behind your breath. Feel it right in your middle. You can put some momentum into this. Keep breathing. Keep twisting. Four, five. Four, three, two, one. Big inhale. Reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Steeple index. If you know how to mula banda lock, mula banda lock. It's like a pelvic lock, like a kegel. Hold it all in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Even get taller. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold, 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 hold. And let it all go. <sighs> Good job. Take a moment just sitting, soaking in the residue, feeling whatever there is to feel. Come back to your ujjayi breath slowly. Feeling into all that energy inside. 
downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Pigeon pose, bring your right shin forward and set your body down nice and easy. Ah. You'd rather take this in a seater on your back, please always feel free. We'll be here for about seven to 10 breaths. So breath by breath, see if you can allow yourself to settle more. Just notice what comes, notice what goes, and let it. If you have gone somewhere else in your mind, just notice that. Be like, hey, mind, remember we're in this class right now. We're in our body right now. Come back. Feel your breath. Feel sensation. So our minds will always try to find something more interesting to focus on. We're just reminding, reminding our minds. You don't always have to be doing. You don't always have to be fixing. You don't always have to be solving something. You can just be right here and notice the discomfort in my hip. Let's breathe into it together. So that's the practice. That's the yoga. You can sit in these poses mindlessly, these poses mindlessly all day long, just stretch, or you can practice yoga and be present. Remind yourself to come back over and over and take deep breaths. Give yourself about two or three more here. Open your mouth and sigh it out if you want any time. Uh, and then just however you want to make a transition back to down dog, friends, in your next couple of breaths, start transitioning back. And if you want to, you can move through a vinyasa to get there. You can take some cat cows to get there. Once you're back in down dog, just walk it out. If you want to flip your dog as a counter pose, go for it. And I'm just going to let each of you no hurry at all. But when you're ready, just come into pigeon on your left side. Take your time. Ah, big deep breaths. Just whatever's there. If you're bored, let yourself be bored. If you're anxious, let there be space for your anxiety. Just holding whatever's there with your awareness. Breathing into it. Softening with your exhales.
When you feel pretty even on both sides, so I'm just going to leave it up to you. But eventually you start your transition back to one final down dog. If you want to flip your dog, flip your dog. And just walk it out one last time. Or if you'd rather find a child's pose one last time, find a child's pose. And then in your next few breaths, everybody, however you want to get there, just start a transition all the way down onto your back. Once you are on your back, hug your knees in and just rock it out gently side to side. After a few rounds, uh, rocking side to side or just a moment, kind of giving your back that nice little massage, set your feet on the ground with your knees bent. And we'll take one last heart opener. So I will cue for bridge pose, but absolutely, if a full back bend, upward facing bow is in your practice and you want to go there, you're more than welcome to. So bridge posers, feet, hips width distance apart, all 10 toes face forward. Make sure your ankles are right below your knees, arms down by your sides. As you exhale, pull your belly button down, scoop your tailbone up, and then inhale to peel your spine up. Most of you are already there. That's totally fine. Once you get to the top of your bridge, you might even work your shoulders a little bit more underneath you. So kind of shimmy side to side, get your shoulders underneath you. Maybe you want to interlace. Maybe you want to take robot arms. If you've come to my class for years, you know those little lifts and lowers we do with our butt. Maybe you want to do those. Take about five rounds, wherever you're at, feel that opening in the front of your body, front of your hips, hug in with your inner thighs, root down, especially through your heels and the inner edges of your feet. And then in your next couple of breaths or so, friends, you can just come out on your own, but do it mindfully. Personally, I love reaching my arms straight up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and then just one vertebra at a time rolling down. So however you want to find your way back down into a neutral spine, find your way back down. And then once you're there, windshield wiper pose. So your feet will come out to the width of your mat. The wider, the better. You can tee out your arms, cactus your arms, and just take your knees a few times side to side slowly. Widening your feet creates space in your low back so that as your knees go from side to side, there's no crunching in your spine, no column. Also create space in the pelvic bowl and the hips. If you want to stay on one side for a couple breaths or so, feel free. And then eventually happy baby pose. There's how this fun quote while you're in happy baby. It says, children never say, I had a hard day. Can we talk? They say, will you come play with me? Children never say, I had a hard day. Can we talk? They say, will you come play with me? So in this happy baby, embody a happy baby for a moment. Feel your body play in your body like a baby would. Just feeling all the sensations, the way you can extend your leg, the way you can pull your feet in towards your chest. If there's any other poses, any last little stretches you want to take for yourself, go ahead and move through them. In about 10 breaths, everybody find your way into your final relaxation. 
Uh, as you get there, I will read to you. This is one of my most favorite poems by Rainer Maria Rilke. God speaks to each of us as he makes us, then walks with us silently out of the night. These are the words we dimly hear. You, sent out beyond your recall, go to the limits of your longing. Embody me, flare up like flame, and make big shadows I can move in. Let everything happen to you beauty and terror, just keep going. No feeling is final. Do not let yourself lose me. Nearby is a country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. These last few moments, just let your breath be effortless. Just let your body give in, be held by the earth. And just feel the aliveness inside of you, the energy inside of you. It's always there. Feel yourself as an energetic being. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. Just start to slowly wiggle fingers, toes, maybe a full body stretch would feel nice. Or even rubbing your hands together and placing them over your eyes. And then eventually just find your way, no rush, onto either side, fetal position. And take one last moment on your side, curled into yourself in a nurturing way. Just really allowing your practice to settle, anything that came through for you, allowing it to settle inside. Maybe there's even some way you visualize that. And then use the strength in your arms to guide yourself up into seated meditation to right back where we started. Sit up nice and tall with your eyes closed and gather your hands to your heart. So either prayer hands or one palm pressed on top of the other. And we'll just close our practice symbolically by or with one collective ohm. So try not to worry about how you sound. Focus on your own vibration coming through your body, coming all the way down from your gut, moving out your mouth through your throat chakra, out your mouth and hear what it, what it sounds like and what it feels like to express from inside out. So start by exhaling, clear your throat if you need to. Breathe in your voice, open your mouth wide. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Feel free if you have any questions to ask. And hope to see you again soon. My class on Thursday is not as full as this one, and I would love for it to be. So if you're interested, Thursday's 915 Deep Power. And I always play my sound holes at the end. That might be a plus. That might not be a plus. I don't know. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Let's see. Bye, Mama. Love you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>